How's it going guys? I'm Tactics HD and this is the presentation deep dive for NHL 24. If you guys have never heard of me, I've making NHL content on YouTube for over 10 years now, and the last month I got to sit down with the lead presentation producer at ENHL, David Pritchett, where we talked about all the new features and changes to the upcoming game. Now my first question was about the new Hype Moments feature and how that makes all the arenas in-game come alive. We've really uh, kind of expanded out what we call, at least under the hood, the crowd engagement score, or the CES. So there's positive events, there's negative events, and as you kind of build up positive events, it really gets the home crowd uh, kind of riled up. The next feature I'm really excited for in NHL 24 is the new creation zone environment. Basically this is where you are whenever you're creating your player, creating your team. And a cool feature they added this year is the ability to create 30 more teams, 1,500 more skaters, and 200 more goalies than previous years, so those custom rosters should be awesome. But next guys, I'll have Pritchett tell you about some of the different customization options within that mode. We've got over 150 new pieces of vanity gear that are animated, which need to kind of be seen to believe. And I think we've got 130 something pieces of vanity gear that aren't animated, but look super premium. We've got a new no tape stick option, which the fans have been asking for for quite some time and a lot of work has been done on the material tuning to make the sticks as authentic as possible. The metalness, the graphite, making them look exactly right. Another big one that the fans have been asking for for a long time is you can now put a cage on any helmet whatsoever. We've got the full visor supported as well, and also uh, the skin material, not just inside of Creation Zone, but inside of the game itself. It looks better than it's ever looked before. It looks much more authentic. We spent a lot of time in the fine details of that skin shader to get it looking as authentic. As possible. And what has to be the most drastic change of presentation this year's game, guys, is the new Flex Moments. No longer are you celebrating from your regular camera angle, but you're actually up close and personal now on your player. I'll have Pritchett tell you the thought process behind that change. Previous years, we've allowed the user to celebrate, but it's always just been from the gameplay camera. So you're kind of just a few pixels celebrating on the screen. And if you look at, you know, any images on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, of your favorite player celebrating, it's always like down low and up close and you can kind of see the full body and the face, they're usually screaming kind of thing. Uh, we needed to capture that. So in offline modes like franchise and uh, play now, the, the authentic modes, um, you know, we have a selection of authentic celebrations that can be chosen along with um, signature celebrations for certain players. And then inside of Ishal, World of Chell, uh, there's 75 new celebrations that are, some of them are pretty crazy, but one thing they all have in common is that they look awesome. Uh, brand new camera, brand new lighting, and facial animation for every single one of them that is appropriate for the celebration. And now with Flex Moments, the other big change of presentation this year has to be the new dynamic rink boards. Obviously some controversial opinions about those. I asked Pritchett how they're gonna ensure that they're not distracting for players. When you score, you know, we get a special animation there and we bring up, um, you know, the most relevant stat. So if it's a career milestone or if it's an in-game milestone, like a hat trick or something like that, that's what we're gonna showcase on the boards. And then in the world of Chell, uh, there's this whole new kind of customization, uh, player banners we call them, but they're, they're graphics uh, that you can kind of customize your character with and they kind of take over the boards as well. It's very cool. And now with all that new information we displayed on the boards, I asked Pritchett how that could potentially help players who play without audio, which I sometimes do, I'm not gonna lie. Here's his thoughts. So we've heard a lot about people obviously not playing with, with audio. And while audio is awesome and everyone should play with audio, we get it. There are people that don't want to play with audio. Instead of, um, you know, doing something like bring up an overlay or something like that, you know, we just put it on the boards themselves. So if there's a delayed penalty, the empty net, so a goalie got pulled, uh, those types of things we now just put up on the boards. And users, the great thing about it is like users don't have to break focus. They don't have to take their eyes out of the game world and kind of look out in the overlay or look up at the score clock. They can just kind of, they, they see it already just, just from playing. They just kind of see it out of the corner of their eye. And it's a super effective way um, to kind of communicate information and it's helpful whether you've got audio or not. But definitely for people that don't have audio, it's super helpful. And now regards to graphical improvements in NHL 24, there's now sweat exertion on players, which is very cool, as well as new facial animations. I asked Richard to tell us more about that feature as well as whether or not it'll be available on all consoles. All of the new heads, 22 new star heads, they're in all platforms, so Gen 4 and Gen 5. But the exertion is Gen 5 only. Uh, this year and it's a great feature but what you'll see is the exertion the players face they get more flush they get more sweaty kind of as they're out there on the ice working uh, they get back to the bench they take a little bit of break 
kind of calms down a little bit, they jump back on and starts all kind of all over again. So it's a very cool little detail to see, especially with some of the replays that we have that get kind of up close and personal with the players. But yes, Gen 5 only this year. Now, if you guys haven't heard yet, there's actually a new color commentator in NHL 24. It's no longer Ray Ferraro, it's now Cheryl Pounder. And I asked Richard to explain what made her the perfect choice for that role. Cheryl kind of came in at this last second audition for us and it was like, oh, she's meant to be working on this well, game. it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. A goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. And now in addition to the new color commentary, guys, there's actually authentic tracks being used as part of the new face-off moments, and here you can hear Pritchett talk more about that. Face-off moments are pretty awesome. We're bringing authentic music back into the back end of the game or the actual game itself. What we're really going for is authentic emotion, so we needed those authentic tracks, and we got some classic tracks like uh, Darude Sandstorm, we got Tsunami by Dubs, Fits in the Tantrum, Hand Clap, and of course we've got Cha Cha Slide as well, which everyone's going to recognize. Cool thing about those last two are that there's crowd participation. Now my favorite presentation feature in NHL 23 had to be the all-night's projection, so I asked Pritchett whether or not we'd be getting any new unique ones for different teams in NHL 24. Here's what Pritchett had to say. We reached out to uh, the teams that we didn't have an authentic on ice projection for. So we've got Washington properly represented. We've got Montreal properly represented. We have the Seattle Kraken, which looks absolutely sick inside of the game, plus others as well. But yes, definitely an effort was made there to try to get away from some of those generic on ice projections that we have for some of the teams and get as authentic as possible. And now finally here, guys, this is a big one for franchise guys like me. I asked whether or not the offline replays were returning to NHL 24. Here's your answer. Yeah, so this year we brought back the full replays uh, for all offline modes, Franchise, Be A Pro, and Play Now, and, and the others. Um, so regardless of whether you're AI or a human-controlled team, you're gonna get all of the goal replays. We also brought back the true broadcast camera. Uh, consumers demanded that we bring that one back, so uh, now we have two distinct true broadcast cameras in the game. And that does it for the NHL 24 presentation deep dive. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to click the link in the description to pre-order NHL 24. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.